in Fortnite Battle Royale, there are only six item slots, and one of them is um, Pickaxe. They recently buffed the damage against players from 10 to 20, so it is not that bad. And you must have one shotgun in your inventory. If you don't know what shotgun you should choose, you can go to my other video that I linked here. If you're not really good at this game, you will want to carry one healing item and one shielding item. Also, it's always good to carry an explosive weapon, sniper rifle, or a movement item if you can find them. Which leaves us a tough question, which gun among pistols, SMGs, and also rifles should you choose to fill this last slot? We all know that the last slot has to be the one weapon that takes down enemy structures efficiently. This means that we need to find out what gun does the most damage against structures. As you can see here, metal structures are so easy to take down when it's just started being built due to its slow HP recovery. So yeah, if you're blocking enemies' bullets, you should use woods. I also test the pickaxe against structures. At the end of this video, we will see the damage comparison of guns along with the pickaxe. Without hitting the bullseye, it took 3.52 seconds to break down the metal structure with the pickaxe. By hitting the bullseye, it only took 1.78 seconds. Now let's see the guns. In this video, I tested these guns. They're technically all the weapons except for the shotguns. Explosive weapons, sniper rifles, including hand cannon, and scoped ARs. I couldn't find a suppressed pistol, but it has the same damage mechanism as pistol. Some guns have different damage mechanisms, such as heavy sniper rifle, hand cannon, and shotguns, by having two different damage types. One is against players, and the other one is against structures. For example, gold heavy sniper rifle does 157 damage against players, but it does 1100 damage against structures. Yeah, it's crazy. Look up hand cannon too. Shotguns, on the other hand, delivers much lower structure damage than player damage, so don't ever use shotguns to break structures. I also went over it in a um, different video that I made. I'll also uh, put the link up here. However, the guns that we are testing today has only one damage type, meaning that the player damage and structure damage are the same. So this video will give you a pretty good idea about how well these guns perform, not only against structures, but also against players. So let's start with the guns that are pretty common. The SMG and M4 perform the best against wooden walls. I also tested these guns against metal walls. Again, SMG and M4 perform the best. Now let's look at the guns that are hard to acquire. They all perform very well, but let's see what happens when I test them against metal walls. The winners are P90, SCAR, and Minigun. Surprisingly, the blue SMG performed better than P90, taking 0.3 seconds less to take down the metal wall. So far, the winners are SCAR, blue SMG, and Minigun. In the next few clips, I tested all three weapons against metal walls in three different range, which are medium, long, and very long. I also wrote how many floors I was standing away from the walls on the top of the screen as well. However, I will not mention about minigun from now on, since it has a very long winding up time and you become very susceptible to snipers and shotguns while you're using it. But I thought that it would be nice to have it in this video. So for the medium range, SMG performed the best and then SCAR performed the second best. However, 
as the distance got further, the SMG suffered from very high damage falloff, while SCAR didn't. Also, because of the lack of accuracy of SMGs, you shouldn't use SMGs anything higher than medium range, which is around 4 floor distance. My final conclusion is to carry an assault rifle for the last slot, or if you're very confident, you can carry an SMG and an assault rifle, instead of carrying two healing items. Thank you for watching my video and see you next time.